Okay, so today what I want to go through is really just the real basics of actually doing manual sourcing and starting to source. Now, what I'm going to go through is really going to a website, finding certain products and checking them on Amazon and seeing if they're profitable. This is the fundamentals of actually sourcing. Now, whether you are in the future going to be doing it manually like we are today or going to be using software to help you get there faster, this process that we're going to do today is just the basic basics, the fundamentals, and that you will do day in and day out in your sourcing. This is the area of your Amazon business that you add real value, finding products which are going to make you money, that are going to sell and give you a good healthy ROI, return on investment for the money you invest into these products and obviously help your business grow. Now, I'm gonna, we're not going to guarantee that we're actually going to find any deals in this, but I'm going to take three or four products and just give you an example of how we would search them. So you can literally see the process from zero to sourcing and checking if they're profitable from start to finish and then obviously go through that. The videos we'll do later are very much about refining that, getting it you more likely to find profitable products. But today is literally what is that process? What is the the process that we're doing to speed up or, or should I say just to check that actually we're finding profitable products. So um, before I begin, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Now, my name, if you don't know, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I run the UK based Amazon arbitrage lead service Fast Track FBA. And I have been been a seller on Amazon for three years and I've been doing six figures every year since I started. Now um, what I do is I don't call myself an expert or a guru but I certainly learned some top tips and tricks and I like to share them with people and hence why I'm making these series of videos to give back and to share with people so that obviously they're starting the Amazon journey they can do this as well. So let's begin. Right, today what we are going through is really just the real basics, the very first steps you are going to get in your sourcing, manual sourcing. So this is, we are going to go to a store and I'm going to choose Argos for this. I'm going to choose three products at random and I'm literally going to check them versus Amazon to see if they're profitable. I don't think I'm going to find anything profitable straight away because unfortunately this isn't that easy. But this process that I'm going to go through today is literally just showing you how to do it from nothing, from scratch. And that is hopefully going to make you or just create, make you aware of what you're going to need to be doing as part of your sourcing process. So without further ado, let's begin. Right, so here we are. I've loaded up Amazon Store and you can see straight away we come in. Now, I will talk later about how we might narrow down to finding more profitable deals. But what we want to do today is literally just go through that real basics. So once we've found or once we've narrowed it down to profitable deals, what do we actually want to do? So if you wanted to start today sourcing, what would you do? So what I'm going to do is come across and I'm going to go to shop and I'm just going to go to toys straight away. Toys is normally where a lot of people like to start. It's a nice product. We understand it and it's easy to do. So I'm going to come down and Lego has been the theme of the day for a lot of my videos. So I'm going to go back to Lego again and I'm just going to click on Lego. So let's load up the Lego products. Now straight away I've got different products. We've got here like this Lego, it's got an offer on 2 for 15, 2 for 15 limited stock. We've got some advent calendars, we've got some bits and bobs. Now I recognize this product, I've done some videos with it before so I think that might be a good product to start. Let's open that one up in a new tab and we'll choose, we'll choose three products. So again I'm going to choose this one here, I'll open that up in a new tab and then finally let's come down and the space shuttle. Let's open that one up in a new tab. So there's three products now. We're just going to check if these products we can make, we can buy it today, sell it on Amazon and make profit. So coming into the first product, voila, we've got this product right here. And this product I think I've seen before, but what I'm going to do is then find this product in Amazon. Now, if you want to know, I should say I run, I run a bit of software called um, FBA Multitool, which really helps, but I'm going to kind of do it a bit manually. So I'm going to go to Amazon, first of all, Amazon. So even if you're not using any software, how could you just do this manually? And then if I just go also as well, what I want to do is load up the Amazon calculator and I will drop a link down below. So we'll do it with the Amazon calculator first for the first one and then we'll do it with the FBA multi-tool as well. And then for the subsequent ones, I'll just do FBA multi-tool because the concept's the same. So while we've got this product here, now what I want to do is take the name and I'm just going to copy that. So let's copy this name, copy, and then I'm going to come to Amazon and I am literally going to search it. So search. 
and I'm going to look and see look there's quite a lot of products that come up but what I'm always going to do is I'm probably going to I can actually go through all of them and have a look but uh, one thing I did notice is that it had a number on there which is like a model number so that's quite useful so I've just searched the name and I can see it's got a model number so I can see this one is at 10696 this one's 10698 so that's a different product not that one this is 10696 so that's the same product and then these don't look the same We've got another 10696, but it's got a base plate in there, so it's a different. What you've got to see here is it's two products in one, so that isn't the same as ours. We have to list on the products which are exactly the same. No, like, oh, it's kind of the same. It's got to be exactly the same. So let's open these two up. Now, what I'm doing here is I can see this product here, and I'm before I even start analysing whether it's profitable or not, first things first, I just want to check, is it the same product? So again, we talked about Lego, and we've got the, uh, the, the name. So here we go, we've got this, and that's yes. And let's have a look at the images. So what I'm going to do is load this up onto the side, and we'll load this one up. And if I'm right, it's there. And we can say, well, look. That looks the same. It's got 499, 499 there. It's got the same model number. Lego is quite a branded product. They are the same thing. Um, we might look at things like, for example, I might come down and have a look at, you know, weight 104. Does this have weight on it? Um, it contains 484 piece, pieces. 484 pieces. Yes. Um, has it got any weight on there? No, it hasn't. We do have a barcode, and I'll search that in a minute. We've got size, 8 centimeters, 16 centimeters. Product dimensions are a little bit different there, but I'd be quite content to say that this is the same product. So once I'm happy that it is the same product, and I can look at that and go, yep, yeah, that's the same product that I'm selling, is say, all right, let's do the calculation. So if I just expand this, so we're going to say now. We're buying this for £25 and we're selling it for £28.90. So remember, we need to get the Amazon ASIN right here. Let's copy that. Load up a fulfillment calculator, paste it in here, search. And it's just giving me an option. Nope, this one's not a matter. Great. And my item price is £29.99, if I'm right. Let's just scroll up. Oh, £28.90, sorry. £28.90. And then delivery to Amazon, my delivery cost, and this is from my warehouse to Amazon's warehouse, not to the customer, is 24p per item on average. And then finally, we know that I'm going to be buying it now for £25. So let's drop it in here, £25. And I'm going to calculate that if I were to buy this today for £25, and I were to sell it today on Amazon for £28.90, I'm going to lose £3.49, which is this figure down here. That's by doing FBA, and my margin is going to be a minus figure. Now, obviously, that isn't good. That's not what we're after. And a lot of the searching you're going to do, you're going to get the same results. They will be negative. But what we're looking for are those deals whereby it's positive. You're going to have positive results. So let's do exactly the same search, £28.90, and buying for 25 on the on using FBA multi tool, so 28.90 has already been filled in for me, and I'm buying it for. And let's just check, 25 pound, 25 pound. Calculate, and again, this is showing me if I buy it today, I'm actually going to be losing four pound 53 and minus 18.1 percent ROI. Obviously, not good. I don't want to be losing money in my business. So this product, buying it from Argos right now for 25 pound and selling it on Amazon for the current market price is a no. I'm not interested in that. So let's move on. We've got we've got this product here. Now remember, got, we found two listings for it, not one but two. So I'm going to do exactly the same searching. You know, I've looked at this and I've had a quick look and say, yeah, it's the same product. Sometimes you'll find this on Amazon with very popular products. There'll be more than one listing. There shouldn't but there might be. And again, I'm just going to put in here £25. Let's have a look. No, this is £3.27. That's not going to be profitable. So that one isn't profitable. And then the last one we had down here, if I just show you £4.53, that isn't profitable either. So these two are a no. Now let's come back into this one, Lego Friends Super Pack. Again, let's take this text, let's copy it, Bring it straight back to Amazon and we'll close these two down. Let's go back. And now I'm just going to do it using FBA multi tool. Paste. And let's have a search. So this one looks the right one. Let's just check the name. Oh no, three pack 66620. I think it looks right. It's got the house 6620. Is that right? Is there any. 
interesting here we go so okay so it's got a three pack on it and what's this got this is only this is the one pack this is the tree so it looks like i can't find the three pack i.e it's like three and one here we go mere tree house no can i search so you might want to just adjust and say can i get rid of all this and just call it lego and then model number I'm looking for that six. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't see the three pack. Okay, we've got this one like that three pack, but I can't see a three pack version. So, yeah, I can't see. So that one I can't buy and sell because the listing doesn't exist. Now you can create a listing, but if you're doing arbitrage, you generally wouldn't want to do that because when we talk about the three fundamentals: profit, ROI, and sales. When you create a new listing, it has zero sales, so it doesn't mean it's going to sell. Generally, what I do is I always look for a product which is already selling. I'm not interested in creating new selling products. There's a whole completely different range of that, and I want to make my Amazon arbitrage business as quick and easy as possible. So for this product, we're going to say nope, and you will find a lot of products in your life where you say nope, they're not going to be viable. So again, let's have a look at this one. Copy. Should go back up to the top, and let's paste this. So we've got the shuttle here and we can see here interesting enough it hasn't got this add to basket so this is called a suppressed buy box but we can have a look right now i think it'll be suppressed there we go it's going for like 23 23 24 pound and i can buy it today for 20 pound so i'm just going to use that 24 pound 20 pound as a quick guess and i'm going to see no that isn't profitable so for me, we've taken three products today. We've just literally taken them at random in Argos. And we've taken them, we found those same products in Amazon. And we've used the fulfillment by, fulfillment by Amazon revenue calculator. And also as well, we've used the FBA multi-tool. And that is quite simply the real basics of number one, finding a product with a supplier, finding the same product and it has to be the same product on Amazon and then number two is just doing the calculation and that's the first kind of steps that I'd always be doing to find like is this a, is this the same product and then can I make profit after that and some more advanced sourcing what I would then do is look at more analytics on the product itself but my first criteria that I'm always looking at is can I find it in Amazon and can I find it makes profit and ROI. Once I do that, then I check sales and then I'll check some other factors. But for me, this is a video just really talking about what's the real basics of manually sourcing. Are you taking that product from supplier, find it on Amazon and calculate the profit and ROI. And for us, we use something like FBA Multitool, which just allows us to do that a lot easier here. And you can see £3.36 negative. That's not going to be a profitable product. So hopefully you found that interesting and if you do and you like this kind of content be sure to give me a thumbs up i love that and maybe there's some comments or something you want to say drop it down below let me know your thoughts or maybe some something i haven't covered let me know below and then finally if you're watching this on youtube be sure to click subscribe because that is going to allow you to get videos quicker faster and the moment they're released it's going to help you in your learning your journey and help grow your amazon business but from me thomas parkinson at fast track fba thank you very much